Hey everyone, this is Ismail here. Today I will be talking about my modular wagon set that I made with Blender, Unity, Substance Painter and some ZBrush at here and there. So I would like to start with talking about the system and the infrastructure of it. First of all, we have some lower mechanisms for compiling the carriage on top of it, like compiling the wagon on top of it. And I built a specific uh, socket system for this, where every mechanic part has four wheel sockets for front left, front right, back left and back right. A carriage socket to put some carriage modules on top of it and a yoke socket for putting a yoke like this. And I would like to show you that these wagons here made with using on, using this system. So yeah, as you can see there, there are some variations of it. So yeah, we have these lower mechanism. And then we have these yokes that you are putting the horses here and you are chaining the horses to these parts and so that the carriage kind of moves on and then we have the carriage sockets after the yoke socket and the the wheel sockets and these are the carriage sockets as you can see they have a seating socket a an accessory sockets that you can put whatever you want and a cover socket if you like to have a hood on top of the cart and these are the hood options for the covers let's look at the seating options here as you can see like there's a bunch of variations of them and all of these carriage parts are using a single albedo texture and it's this and a single normal texture and it's this basically so it's, it's highly optimized all of these assets are using only two textures and they are still retaining the PBR because I utilized vertex colors to hold the PBR materials I will come to the shader in a bit, but let's see the system in action. So I created a custom script for editor and it works when I hit Ctrl and G and this actually creates a new wagon. So I can spam this as many times as I want to get almost in the indefinite amount of um, almost indefinite amount of wagons. And I find that beautiful. As you can see, all parts are movable, meaning that if you want to make some adjustments on them, you can do something like this. And yeah, so say you like this one, but you want to change the, the seat. So all you need to do delete this one and attach any of these to these carriage uh, sockets here of course you may need very little interference with placing objects here and there but that's the system yeah so this is how it works and speaking of PBR I baked PBR into vertex colors, meaning that the red is a occlusion, green is metallic, and, and the blue is for smoothness factor, so that I don't utilize any new textures, but I can have all of these PBR values without any textures on the objects. And that's very good for optimization. Um, 
as you can see these objects that's a stable wireframe and yeah so let's hop into the shader magic a bit i again utilized amplify shader editor to create this shader it has some ui drawers for the custom material section like this like albedo categories normal category pbr emission sphere which will which i will come in a minute so the wagon has the vertex color setup r is for immune occlusion g is for metallic b is for edge wear sorry i thought it was smoothness and uh, alpha is for emission and i'm i'm defining the emission here Beer color, PBR colors, and PBR, and all of these stuff here. And yeah. Uh, let's play with some of these values here. First of all, all of these materials here are completely separated to individual categories like carriage, carriage accessories, chest, cloth hanging, covers setting default lantern etc so we have a few options available for the the accessories and some chests some cloth that is hanging this could be easily like a carpet or anything you want and some metal parts to hold yourself and pull yourself to easily onboard the carriage and and stuff like that so one particular thing we have here is this lantern because as you can see it has a an emission thing on it let's actually play let's actually play with the emission and let's show how it works i utilized alpha channel of vertex colors to define the emission so that it help a lot uh, and so that I don't really uh, sample a texture for it as you can see you can create any colors using these uh, um, using these emission HDR color here uh, I would like to keep it something like this more bright colors but I, I still like to have the texture on it and can actually go and put some particles on top of it to give the feeling of how it appears on night and, and stuff. So yeah, these assets are highly optimized for standalone platforms like Quest, Pico, uh, and PC eventually. Uh, the meshes are quite expensive, uh, they are not very low poly, for example this one has 20,000 triangles, which could be easily reduced if you, like, um, if I would like to go and, you know, remove some of these edge loops, um, flatten these surfaces, but I didn't take my time to just optimize them, uh, but yeah, they are highly optimized, kind of. And let's actually generate a new uh, wagon that I like and attach some accessories. Yeah, that's perfect. So I enable Gizmos to see it better. And I click these accessories socket. I come to prefabs and then elements and accessories. And then I have the options to select the chest. For example, I can simply attach a chest to the socket and place it. Yes. The colliders for all of these uh, items are set so that if you would like to use some colliders uh, for in your game that means it's 100% possible they're they're very clean they're very neat and yeah so I attach these accessory I like it let's attach another one 
Not a chest, but a, a little clothing part. I like this accessory socket again. Just attaching it. I'm just rotating it 180 uh, degrees, scaling it, and I'm just fitting it here like this. Yes. Let's actually utilize some uh, lanterns and clothing. Not the clothing, but like metal things. Uh, again, to let's drag and drop it to a random uh, carriage socket. Let's add this hanging here like this. Rotating it to 90 degrees. Scaling it a bit. And it fit like this. And yeah. You don't have to overlap it with these uh, metal bars so that we can put it something like this. So if if the driver would like to attach his backpack here, then you can easily do that. And for example, let's add another uh, another um, holding bar here. Uh, I think this one, yes. Let's attach it here. So the, when the driver likes to get on board, it's easy to access uh, the driver's seat here easily. Yes. So imagine if the driver wants to come here, he can easily step on the wheel or somewhere here on the lower mechanism. I hold this bar and get on his uh, seat very easily. Uh, let's actually generate more variations to show me show you some more examples. Yeah, the options are uh, almost infinite, so that how you like to utilize these wagons is totally up to you uh, and the, the and to the project's needs, of course. I would like to show more of these. Uh, of these wagons that are pre-made none of them unfortunately has some accessories but as you can see they are all uh, ready to use there are 30 of them currently and let's actually uh i'd like to show you the the master randomization agent i made so this is the randomization agent uh script that actually creates the creates the wagons out of it so if i say add create more wheel parts that means i can easily do that so yeah that's how my modular uh wagon system works i hope you like it take care bye